Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the Master's Table Virtual Church. We're back, and we're in the Gospel of John, chapter 17, verses 1 through 11. And as we always do, the text will be there, so you can click on the text, read the text, watch the video at the same time, get into the Word. Uh, thank you for all your responses on every social media outlet that we're doing, the Master's Table. Just getting into the Word, make it simple. Um, John 17 is where we're at, verse 1 through 11, so read that. Here's our reflection. After taking three chapters of John's Gospel uh, to give one particular devotion for his disciples, Jesus then turned to prayer. He carried his followers in his heart and brought them and their needs to God with great compassion and love. As we read the first part of Jesus' prayer, we notice two specific requests. The first is that his disciples would experience the eternal life they had received by knowing God through Jesus. The life of God is found in union with God. And so Jesus prays for his followers to remain in union with God. The second request was that his followers would be one with one another. Once again, we see that our loves for God and one another are completely interrelated. Jesus' plea for the disciples to be United is linked with his prayer that they would be protected by the power of God's name. This does not imply that God's name is like a magic spell we can throw at evil. It refers to being aligned with God's purposes, values, priorities, and mission. As we align ourselves with God's name in this way, so we enjoy protection because our immersion in God's life keeps us from choosing what is destructive and dangerous. It also means that we will share life with others who have embraced God's ways. And so we will find unity. It's really a very practical prayer. And it's one we can choose to live out or not. How can you choose to find life by being united with God and with other God seekers today? Here's a practice for us. Apply God's Word. The practice of gathering with other believers for worship is a profound way to live out Jesus' prayer. In our worship, we are united with God, and our hearts are captured by God's values and priorities. But we are also united with those who worship with us, and we learn to become one people of God. Make every effort to attend worship and be part in that union with God and union with people which are interrelated. Let us pray. Lord, we worship you today. And God, make us one with you and make us one with our brothers and sisters. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, that's it for today. Continue your feast every day. We'll have readings. We'll list the readings. We'll re list the focus questions as well. And so be blessed and continue to go out. eat daily from the master's table.